Hi, today I have a question for you, and uh, here is a question. A couple decided to have four children. What is the probability that they will have at least two boys? And this is about uh, this question about uh, law of probability and statistics. So um, probably most of you uh, can give an uh, instant answer that uh, the chances for, of having two boys out of four children would be one half and I must tell you that's not correct answer though it seems uh, logical but it's not because uh, you have to pay attention to these words at least two boys so what does it mean that we might have for example four boys and no girls at all we also may have three boys and one girl and we also may have two boys and two girls so we have to combine all these possibilities that would answer our question so what is the probability that they will have at least two boys and we have to combine all these uh, probabilities so we would able to answer this question so let's now uh, see how many different uh, ways we might have for children and here would be the first way we might have all four children to be boys we might have three boys and one girl we might have two boys and two girls we might have one boy and three girls and we might have all for children to be girls so uh, this is our first step and uh, in our second step we have to use formula and I also want to abbreviate uh, all this combination so this is going to be 4b this is going to be 3b 1g and this is 2b 2g and 1b 3g and 4g so now we can use a formula and here is a formula so um, we have to calculate uh, for the number one uh, the probability of all four boys to uh, all four children to be boys so we have to calculate for 4b and this is going to be we only have one combination so we have to multiply by chances of the um, children to be of specific gender and we have only two genders boys and girls so we have one half chances and we have to raise it four and here would be our answer that is going to be zero zero six two five and um, also uh, this is our first for the second uh, how many combinations uh, you think we might have uh, for um, our uh, combination uh, of different ways to have three boys and one girl so the first one we will use that we have here that is uh, boy 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 girl second combination can be boy boy girl boy S uh, third combination can be boy girl boy boy and the last combination girl boy 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 so all together we have four combinations so here for the 3b 1g uh, we have four that is variable number and one half raised four and this will give us 0 0.25
25. So as you see we have uh, one variable number here and one constant. So why this number is constant? Uh, I will show you. For example, uh, here we have three boys and one girl. So what is the chances for the uh, first child to be boy? One half. This is obvious. What is the chances for the second boy, uh, for the second child to be a boy? Once again, one half. What is the chances for the third child to be a boy? One half. Because every time we have a child, no matter what we had before, boy or girl, it absolutely does not affect what uh, is the gender would be our uh, newborn. And what is the chances for the first child to be a girl? Once again, one half. And uh, we calculated for this uh, way of um, uh, how we can get children and what would be our calculations for the second way. Two boys in a row, then girl and boy. Once again, every time we have a child, this is going to be one half chances for this child to be of the specific gender. And same for this line and for this. I won't take your time. You already got the point that uh, all, this all would be the same. So that's explanation why this part of the formula is stable no matter uh, what is the variable here. So let's count for the number 3 here. And this is going to be 2B, 2G. How many combinations we might have? Uh, let's count. So we might have a uh, uh, boy, boy, girl, girl. We might have girl, girl, boy, boy. We also might have girl, boy, boy, girl. We might have boy, girl, girl, boy, girl, boy, girl, boy, and boy, girl, boy, girl. So as you see here, this time we have six different combinations. And that means that our variable here would be six multiplied by zero point zero. Uh, we, we also may use instead of uh, one half, one half is the same like zero point five. Or some people use just point five. So all this three is the same number. So uh, this is also going to be raised 4 and this equals to 0 0.375. So we made this for the our number 3 combination, 2 boys and 2 girls and uh, for the number 4 this is going to be the same uh, like for number two that is here that we have three boys and one girl but this time we have three girl and one boy but number of combination would be the same four you may check I just don't want to take your time but number of combinations is the same three boys and one girl is the same like three girl and one boy will give us the same number of combinations that is four so I will use here one boy three G equals to four multiplied by one half raised four that is zero twenty five and the last combination number five that when we have four girls that is four G would be the same like for our 
first combination here when we have all four boys and this is only number one for our variable one multiplied by one half raised four that equals is zero zero six two five so now what we can do we can check just adding all this number and we should get one also we can use uh, and transfer these uh, numbers to the uh, percentages in order to do this we just have to move decimal point two places to the right and what we get here is 6.25 percent here we have 25 percent and here we have 37 point five and here we have twenty five percent and here we would have six point twenty five so if you add all these percentages we will have here one hundred percent and this is obvious because we move it our decimal point two places to the right so this figure on the right would be 100 times more than this one. So we need percentages to calculate uh, our um, our combination here. And I don't have space, so I have to clean a little bit here. So I would. delete uh, this last uh, two figures here because we don't need them for our calculations I just show them uh, to you in order to show you that here we got one and one hundred percent so we check our calculations but uh, we don't need it for uh, our calculations to calculate uh, the probability of having at least two boys um, so our last formula would be to use uh, four sorry um, so our last calculation would be using this formula for For B, four boys, plus three B one G, plus two B two G, and we uh, already have all these numbers. One number for four G. Uh, this is another one, and this is two B two G. We have here so everything we have to do we just have to add these numbers so this equals to 6.25 plus 25 plus 37.5 that equals to 68.8 so this is going to be our answer so uh, now you would be able to solve any problems of this kind in three easy steps and here is uh, our first step to find uh, how many different uh, combinations that we may have uh, how we can get uh, four children in what order second step would be uh, to calculate probability uh, for each combination so this is uh, our second 
step and uh, as you see here we have uh, three different probabilities one four six and again four and one and the last step would be just to use this formula and calculate probability for each combination and just add them and you get your answer so no matter uh, what is uh, question might be for example uh, to find uh, at least two boys out of uh, five children or out of three children you would be able to easily to solve such kind of problems um, and if the question would be uh, what is the probability of having two boys out of uh, say uh, six children it's, it would be even easier because you don't have to add all these probabilities so now I think you would be able easily solve such problems um, I hope you learn something new today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe to my new videos I post every day. Goodbye.